Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. Well, we had a big storm system over the weekend, some snow flying on the mountains. We'll show you the snow totals coming up in just a moment, but I want to talk about my three degree guarantee for the day tomorrow. Look at this temperature, 33, much colder weather is moving into the area, so get ready for those overnight lows to really plunge. I want to show you, first of all, some of the uh, webcam shots taken just a little while ago. This is Smith's Ferry, and there is snow melted a little bit, but there's some patchy snow on the roads with temperatures going below freezing to much lower elevations. Many roadways are going to be seeing more in the way of some snowy conditions. You'll see patchy snow here as well. As you look towards, uh, this is Donner Pass, not Donner Pass, Little Donner, of course, we call that between Cascade and McCall. That's where we're going to have a little bit of a patchy, icy spots as well. So Highway 55 and Highway 95, when you get to those higher elevations, some issues. This is up near uh, north of McCall, heading over the pass to New Meadows. That is snow covered. And the road to Jackpot, before the sun went down, you can see a good coating of snow here. Be careful of the Magic Valley. There are still snow showers adding some slick spots to the roadways. And as far as totals over the weekend from the storm, when you start uh, uh, from basically Friday, Saturday into Sunday, here are the numbers here. This is Midvale, four and a half inches, 0.4 inches at the airport in Boise, and generally around a half inch of snow falling in the Treasure Valley. Bogus Basin only got five inches of snow out of this. The winds just did not line up right for it. 2.3 inches in, in uh, Garden Valley, five and a half inches. This is in uh, Loman today. Eight and a half inches at the ski resort in Sun Valley. Ketchum, just a winter wonderland right now. 18 inches of snow falling in Soldier Mountain. They're getting ready to open. Not yet, but getting close. Four to six inches generally in Long Valley, around five inches in McCall, 11 inches at Brundage Mountain. So some good numbers of snow in the mountains, and there'll be continuing snow showers. Light, but an inch here, another inch there, and it'll continue to add up a little bit over the next few days as these snow showers move on through. 20s to the north were generally above freezing in the valley, but that's going to change tonight. Those temperatures are going to drop, and it will get cold. Scattered snow showers continuing to stream into the west central mountains and the higher elevations of the southern Magic Valley as well, so keep that in mind. Why Wider view shows that westerly flow of moisture coming on in. Eventually, southwesterly winds will develop, and we're going to get a lot going on all across the northwest, but only spotty snow showers in the mountains. And again, it'll accumulate from time to time. That real cold air is coming in tonight, and we'll see those. Watch out for the chance of snow showers even in the valley, causing some slick spots on roadways as that tends to happen. Could see a flurry tomorrow, but we'll see sunshine on Wednesday. This computer chart brings some snow through. All the others say no, it won't happen. I'm tending to think this might not happen, but watch out on Wednesday for the possibility of snow showers around as well. And so over the next several days, there could be several inches of snow. Brundage Mountain could be the target again. Let's take a look at that forecast now for the Treasure Valley. Tomorrow, much colder. Low temperatures in the 20s in the morning. Only 33 for an afternoon high with partly cloudy skies. Maybe a snow flurry. Scattered snow showers of the mountains around 10 in McCall, 20s in the afternoon. Could be an inch of snow, maybe two in the higher peaks. Uh, the Magic Valley tomorrow seeing temperatures in the 20s to near 30. Uh, the the uh, East Central Mountains, I got to tell you, Stanley Sun Valley, blustery wind chills up to 10 below zero with snow showers likely. This is it right here. Temperature 17 in Stanley. It will be cold. My on your side extended forecast. Ah, yes, staying cold in the morning. A chance for a little precipitation. It looks bad for the week. I don't think that's going to be bad. It'll just be off and on light stuff. But Christmas Eve, we could get a little light snow, making you feel a little bit more like Christmas. Be perfect. Yes. Perfect timing. We need to make sure that every child in the Treasure Valley, though, has a present underneath their tree with Toys for Tots. Well, we can. I think I can help out with that really? as well. Why missing, don't you show us? Missing forecast means I missed the three degree guarantee, means we add money to the pot. And so this is you the time shopping. of year I go shopping with the Marines to buy toys for the kids for Toys for Tots. So we're trying to help that final push. This is, this is what we came up with today. <laughs> Ten bucks. Action figures. Action cobra. What do you think? Five bucks. Easy number. Football? Absolutely. Hopefully it's in the snow. Yeah. Here's what we have on the cart right here. It's about $250. You see the numbers we've put in. About how many families do you think this is going to fill the order for? This will uh, cover about uh, roughly 20 boys. Ah, nice. 
Very nicely really? done. $500 Four to spend. Nine ninety six. We were, we, impressive. Were right, we were right in there. First Sergeant Shea, I got to tell you, he was just, he knew exactly what to get. He said, last year, I was in Afghanistan. This year, I'm picking out lotions for the girls, the pink yeah. and purple. You know what? Both of which are equally important, especially for those girls who wouldn't otherwise have something. Absolutely. So I, I thank him for his service, as I will all the Marines, and yes. thank the Marines for the, this amazing job they've done for the Toys for Tots this year. It's been quite incredible. A couple days left to get all the toys in. You can still give any Walmart, any Treasure Valley Dairy Queen. That's right. We need your help. If yeah. you do it after that, bring it over to the fire station so that we'll That's get it out idea. this year. Yeah. Excellent. Right. Thanks, Scott. Coming up next,